And uh, joining us now on the Book Talk segment, uh, good to welcome a woman who has uh, put together two very good, interesting books. Of course, uh, as we come into Mother's Day this weekend, uh, it's actually a pair of books called Mother to Son, Shared Wisdom from the Heart, and uh, Mother to Daughter, also Shared Wisdom from the Heart. We're joined by uh, Melissa Harrison today. And uh, Melissa, thanks for joining us. How are you? I am great. I'm glad to be with you all. Yeah, good to have a chance to chat with you for a few minutes. First of all, I guess, uh, happy Mother's Day to you. Obviously, you've had children. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I have two sons. And uh, I was more interested, obviously, in the mother-to-son book, but also the mother-to-daughter. You, you did two of them there. And uh, f- first of all, how did you get the uh, the idea for the format of the book? It, it's kind of a, a book where you have on each page a little different uh, a different thought or, or, or an idea, right? Yes. Well, we wanted it to be uh, fast and easy for people to read. We wanted it to be concise. We wanted it to be funny. But we wanted it to be informative as well. Um, I work as a librarian, and I was an English teacher before. And my husband is a, is a, an author. Mm-hmm. He's written other best-selling books. And so um, we wanted it to stay under $10 so that kids could buy it for their parents for presents if they wanted to. And so that was kind of our criteria. That, um, and then the pages, we wanted to keep the pages kind of, like, simple so that if you felt like writing on the pages, you could. You could make notes on them. For for example, uh, one of my student teachers gave the gave a book, the father daughter book, to her dad, and she wrote in it, you know, on the pages that um, it applied. She would write, remember when dad when we went camping together and, at Lake Michigan, and so lots of times people um, do write on these pages when they give us a book as a gift. So we wanted space for that as well. Yeah, it's great. So that's why it's laid out the way it is. Okay, yeah, that's a great idea because uh, as you thumb through it. Uh, uh, I, I'd say most parents and most uh, sons or daughters at one time or another are, are going to have uh, relate to uh, pretty much everything in the book here, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could even write it for my mother, and she's 85. You know, I mean, there are things <laughs> I could put on those pages for her. So you could give it to a grandmother, you could give it to a mother, you know, or even a, mo- a friend that's like a mother. So, And I think also children can, can get it for their mom for Mother's Day. And um, it's... The one mother to son it has a green cover, and the one mother to daughter has a purple cover. Now, the rest of our books are on a website um, that you can find. It's fearlessparenting.com, and uh, a lot we have a lot of articles on there, you know, where the research came from and, what, you know, things about learning differences and uh, bullying and stuff like that uh, on that website. But the books themselves are, are perfect for gifts because they're, you know, give that and the and some flowers, and she'll be really happy. <laughs> grandmothers love to get this mother book. I'm telling you that grandmothers I love it as much as mothers do. It's amazing. I was going to say, as a, as a son, and uh, when you're a kid, you're never quite sure what to get your mother, or, or you know, in Father's yeah. Day as well on Mother's Day, and uh, it's difficult. I know they, you know, they're glad to get anything. Just the thought of it counts, but but I think something like this is going to uh, bring back memories, obviously, for moms in the audience as well, right? Right. Right, and the, and the, they do. Moms love to read it. They because I, really most uh, every third or fourth page is funny. So it, you know, at some point in time, you will laugh. I mean, a lot of it is real serious, but a lot of it is funny too. And we try to keep it, you know, as concise as possible. So there's not a lot of long, citated sentences or anything like that. I like this one. Remember, boys tend to be competitive about everything. It will make no sense to you and sometimes scare you to death. I, I can I can relate through my mother to that one, I think. <laughs> yes. And boys are competitive. You know, they do. They compete about everything. I, in my high school, I was noticing these boys comparing their forearms to see who has the biggest forearm. You know, I mean, it's just boys are that way. And then girls are competitive in a different way. And um, I, rem- I remember when we interviewed a lot of mothers for this book, we brought them in in focus groups, and according to age groups, you know, the baby mothers of little ones and the mothers of elementary and middle school on up. And uh, throughout each group, it, the main point that brought the tears and the Kleenex box out was mothers all, from third grade on, mothers all worried so much about mean girls being mean to their daughters. Mm-hmm. And... I mean, that's a really big issue, and I see it as a librarian. I see it in the library all the time. You know, all two girls will be sitting at the table, and they'll be texting back and forth, and they'll be making fun of another girl that's somewhere across the room. That has really you know, become a, 
uh, I never had that problem. I never had texting, obviously, when I went to elementary school. But now people just do it without saying it. They write it. That's weird. <laughs> exactly. It's so weird. And so we have this whole uh, invisible world that's invisible to uh, the parents and the adults that the kids are living in that's cruel. So we uh, re redid the book. Um, it was written about 10 years ago, and it's been a real good seller. And, but we redid it to include the technology stuff so the parents can know how to deal with that as well. Just kind of looking through the, uh, the mother-to-daughter book. I like to start her, off baking, start her off her baking career by letting her decorate the holiday cookies with sugar and sprinkles. She'll love it. She might even hit a cookie yeah. or two. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, right. I wonder if yeah. daughters uh, do that as much anymore. I would imagine not as much as they used to. <laughs> well, you know, you'd be surprised. I, I've seen lots of girls bring cookies to to class that they have made, and they're real proud of that. It's really kind of cute, and they bring them to class in the elementary school, too, but in high school as well, and their mothers help them. Um, one of my favorites is learn her lingo. Dating a boy in middle school might mean she talks to him in class. You know, I mean, <laughs> lots of us, to date, dating means going, you know, getting in a car and going to a movie with a guy. But not to them. It, That's that what just, I thought it meant. That's changed, too? <laughs> you know, exactly. <laughs> so it, they have a whole different terminology for, for dating and going out. Another one that I like is um, talk to her about first impressions. Ones she's formed about other people and the what and the impressions people will have about her. Mm. You know, does that really matters when you go like saying they can practice that when they're in school. They can, you know, make that impression on the teacher. They can walk in and be all slump shouldered and snarly, and they immediately, immediately the teacher is going to think, well, this is going to be trouble. Or they can come in, look the teacher in the eye, and say hi. And when she leaves, you know, say thank you. And and the, and the teacher's going to form a whole different opinion of the same girl. Mm. Different action, you know. So first impressions, if you if you if they learn that early, then when they go on a job interview, they'll know how to act. Right. Well, you being a like you said a school library a librarian. I mean, you're on top of. You know, all the, what's happening in the last five, ten years with all the technology now, and it really has revolutionized, I don't know, in some cases maybe not for the better, but, but what kids have in yeah. class now, I guess they all have cell phones, and now they're all texting each other. It, it really has changed the whole dynamic of a classroom, hasn't it? Oh, it has, and you know, they're not supposed to have cell phones in most schools, but they, a lot of times they'll have two, so they, they put, you know, they'll give the teacher one and keep two. the other one hidden. <laughs> And then they'll go to the restroom and text with the wow. second one. Wow. So, it, or, you know, and then there's the whole Facebook deal, too, you know, where they slam each other on Facebook. So, you know, it's, it's really important that they get at home um, stability, you know, where they know that's the one place where they can go, where they're going to be safe, where nobody's going to put them down or pick on them, you know, and there's not going to be any competition at home, you know, where they can just be loved. And that's why it's important that home is stable and has structure and predictability. Mm. Well, that's the great thing about these two books, Mother to Daughter, Mother to Son. You, know, you have the, you know, the core of what's important in them right down to, you know, you, you, you distill it right down to one or two sentences. And I think that's, that's, right. that's what's going right. to touch people, I think. I wish we had more time, Melissa, but uh, give out a website again where people can get a hold of these books. The website again is fearlessparenting.com. Great. Again, mother to daughter, mother to son, and uh, and also the other book that uh, you co-wrote was One Thousand One Things It Means to Be a Dad, right? Is that the other book? Yes, and we have one about going to college and about Thousand One Things kids, All Kids Need to See Before They Turn 18, so there's a lot to choose from. They're all available at Barnes & Noble and Amazon. Great. Well, let's appreciate you taking a few minutes. Happy Mother's Day once again, and hopefully we can do it again sometime. Great. That would be fun. Thank you very much for having me on.